In computer science, the subset sum problem is one of the important problems in complexity theory and cryptography. The problem is this, given a set of integers, is there a non-empty subset whose sum is zero? For example, given the set a 7, a 3, a 2, 5, 8, the answer is yes because the subset of 3, a 2, 5 sums to zero. The problem is NP-complete. An equivalent problem is this, given a set of integers and an integer s, does any non-empty subset sum to s? Subset sum can also be thought of as a special case of the knapsack problem. One interesting special case of subset sum is the partition problem, in which s is half of the sum of all elements in the set. Complexity The complexity of the subset sum problem can be viewed as depending on two parameters, n, the number of decision variables, and p, the precision of the problem. The complexity of the best known algorithms is exponential in the smaller of the two parameters n and p. Thus, the problem is most difficult if n and p are of the same order. It only becomes easy if either n or p becomes very small. If n is small, then an exhaustive search for the solution is practical. If p is a small fixed number, then there are dynamic programming algorithms that can solve it exactly. Efficient algorithms for both small n and small p cases are given below. Exponential time algorithm There are several ways to solve subset sum in time exponential in n. The most Norvay algorithm would be to cycle through all subsets of n numbers and, for every one of them, check if the subset sums to the right number. The running time is of order O, 2 and n, since there are two n subsets and, to check each subset, we need to sum at most n elements. A better exponential time algorithm is known which runs in time O, 2 n slash 2. The algorithm splits arbitrarily the n elements into two sets of n slash 2 each. For each of these two sets, it stores a list of the sums of all 2n slash 2 possible subsets of its elements. Each of these two lists is then sorted. Using a standard comparison sorting algorithm for this step would take time O, 2n slash 2n. However, given a sorted list of sums for k elements, the list can be expanded to two sorted lists with the introduction of asked element, and these two sorted lists can be merged in time O, 2k. Thus, each list can be generated in sorted form in time O, 2n slash 2. Given the two sorted lists, the algorithm can check if an element of the first array and an element of the second array sum up to s in time O, 2n slash 2. To do that, the algorithm passes through the first array in decreasing order and the second array in increasing order. Whenever the sum of the current element in the first array and the current element in the second array is more than s, the algorithm moves to the next element in the first array. If it is less than s, the algorithm moves to the next element in the second array. If two elements with some s are found, it stops. Horowitz and Sainai first published this algorithm in a technical report in 1972. Pseudo-polynomial time dynamic programming solution, the problem can be solved in pseudo-polynomial time using dynamic programming. Suppose the sequence is, x1, xn, and we wish to determine if there is a non-empty subset which sums to zero. Define the Boolean valued function q, i, s, to be the value of, there is a non-empty subset of x1, xi which sums to s. Thus, the solution to the problem given a set of integers, is there a non-empty subset whose sum is zero? Is the value of q, n, zero? Let A be the sum of the negative values and B the sum of the positive values. Clearly, Q, I, S, equals false, if S be so these values do not need to be stored or computed. Create an array to hold the values Q, I, S, for 1 a per mail currency I A per mail currency N and A A per mail currency S A per mail currency B. The array can now be filled in using a simple recursion. Initially, for A A per mail currency S A per mail currency B, set, Q, 1, S, equals, where is a Boolean function that returns true if X1 is equal to S, false otherwise. Then, for I equals 2, a euro, N, set, Q, I, S, equals Q, I A 1, S, or all Q, I A 1, S A Xi, 
for A A per mil currency S A per mil currency B. For each assignment, the values of Q on the right side are already known either because they were stored in the table for the previous value of I or because Q, I A 1, S A Xi, equals false if S A Xi B therefore, the total number of arithmetic operations is O, N, B L A. For example, if all the values are O, N K, for some K, then the time required is O, N K plus 2. This algorithm is easily modified to return the subset with some zero if there is one. The dynamic programming solution has runtime of where in the sum we want to find in set of numbers. This solution does not count as polynomial time in complexity theory because BLA is not polynomial in the size of the problem, which is the number of bits used to represent it. This algorithm is polynomial in the values of A and B, which are exponential in their numbers of bits. For the case that each psi is positive and bounded by a fixed constant c, Pisinger found a linear time algorithm having time complexity O, N C. In 2015, Coyle Ilaris and Zhu found the algorithm for the subset sum problem where is the sum we need to find. Polynomial time approximate algorithm, an approximate version of the subset sum would be, given a set of n numbers x1, x2, xn and a number s, output, yes, if there is a subset that sums up to s. No, if there is no subset summing up to a number between s and s for some small c greater than zero. Any answer, if there is a subset summing up to a number between s and s but no subset summing up to s. If all numbers are non-negative, the approximate subset sum is solvable in time polynomial in n and 1 per carat. The solution for subset sum also provides the solution for the original subset sum problem in the case where the numbers are small. If any sum of the numbers can be specified with at most p bits, then solving the problem approximately with c equals 2 or p is equivalent to solving it exactly. Then, the polynomial time algorithm for approximate subset sum becomes an exact algorithm with running time polynomial in n and 2p. The algorithm for the approximate subset sum problem is as follows. Initialize a list S to contain one element 0. For each i from 1 to n do, let T be a list consisting of xi plus y, for all y and s, let u be the union of T and s, sort u, make s empty, let y be the smallest element of u, add y to s, for each element z of u in increasing order do, trim the list by eliminating numbers close to one another, and throw out elements greater than s, if y plus c s n, 